Throughout the history of football, there have been many great teams that had little to show for their talents. Newcastle's entertainers of the mid-90s, Romania at the 1994 World Cup, and Maurizio Pochettino's current Spurs side are just a few examples. Well, a few months ago we took a look at the 7 greatest national teams of all time, and today we wanted to do likewise, but only featuring teams that ultimately fell short. Obviously they didn't win nothing, but none of them won the World Cup or a continental championship such as the European Championships or the Copper America. Most of the players from the squad featured cannot already have tasted success on the international stage in a previous tournament, or have gone on to have success at a later tournament. That probably sounds a little bit confusing, but I'm sure you'll get what we mean soon. Honourable mentions go to the talented Portugal squad of Euro 2004, and recent Belgium squads who could of course go on to win a major trophy in the future. Here are our seven great national teams that won nothing. Portugal, 1966. Their star-studded Euro 2004 squad featuring the likes of Ricardo Carvalho, Deco, Luis Figo, Rui Costa, and Cristiano Ronaldo may have missed out, but their 1966 crop does not. Portugal's squad at the 1966 World Cup in England, which was dominated by Sporting Club de Portugal and Benfica players, was a very strong one. Eusebio was the star, of course, despite having been born in Mozambique, and he would win the tournament's golden boot whilst Portugal went out to the hosts in the semi-finals. They had the likes of Germano and Hilario in defence, Mario Coluna at the heart of their midfield, and José Augusto on the right wing. Portugal beat Hungary, Bulgaria, and Brazil to win their group in 66, and saw off North Korea 5-3 in the quarter-finals. The Netherlands, 1998. The Dutch are the greatest footballing nation to have never won a World Cup, and one of their finest squads was assembled for the 1998 World Cup. They had Edwin van der Sar between the sticks, the likes of Jaap Stam and Frank de Boer in defence, Clarence Seedorf, Edgar Davids and Mark Overmars in midfield, and Dennis Bergkamp and Patrick Kluivert up top. It was a seriously talented group of players, and they topped their group before knocking out Yugoslavia and Argentina. They were knocked out by Brazil in the semi-finals on penalties, who went on to lose 3-0 in the final against France. England, 2004 A lot has been said of England's golden generation of the 2000s. They are widely considered to have massively underachieved, whilst others suggest they were simply overrated, and the squad was never as strong as some suggested. That's not something we can agree with though. Taking 2004 as an example, their defence read Gary Neville, Sol Campbell, John Terry and Ashley Cole. In midfield, they had David Beckham, Frank Lampard, Paul Scholes and Steven Gerrard, and in attack, they could call upon Wayne Rooney and Michael Owen. By any measure, that is an outstanding squad with almost no weaknesses. In fairness to England, they lost to a brilliant Brazil side who went on to win the World Cup in 2002, and should have beaten Portugal in 2004, but for a wrongly disallowed Sol Campbell goal. However, the team was dreadfully mismanaged, and no one from Sven to Roy Hodgson could get the best out of their world-class midfield. Italy, 1990 It was the 1994 World Cup in the USA that Italy managed to reach the final, before a heartbreaking penalty shootout defeat to Brazil. But their squad was even stronger four years earlier, on home soil. At Italia 90, the hosts had a brilliant goalkeeper in Walter Zenga, a tremendous defence featuring the likes of Franco Baresi, Giuseppe Bergomi and Paolo Maldini, one of their greatest ever players in the form of Roberto Baggio, a superb winger like Roberto Donadoni, the list just goes on and on. In fact, it was one of their less fancied players, Salvatore Scalacci, who went on to become the star of the tournament, being named top scorer and best player, but Italy were dumped out by Argentina in the semi-finals. Brazil, 1982 one of the most adored national teams to have ever graced a football pitch, Brazil were great to watch in 1982. Starring the likes of Zico, Socrates, Falcao and Adair, their team was made up of artists rather than footballers, and what they produced was poetry in motion. Their football was joyous to watch, and they topped their group with 10 goals in 3 games, every one of them more beautiful than the last. They beat Argentina once into the second group stage, but then lost to Italy, ending their tournament to the eternal sadness of the world. Well, except for people from Italy. The Netherlands, 1974. Few teams can match the Brazilians in 1982 when it comes to bringing a smile to the face of football fans across the globe with a new and vibrant style of football. But if anyone can, then it would be the Netherlands in 1974. The Dutch were losing World Cup finalists in both 1974 and 1978, 
but their best squad was for the tournament in West Germany. Coached by the great Renus Meikles, this team's star was of course Johan Cruyff, who epitomised everything that was great about not just this Dutch team, but the beautiful game itself. Cruyff wasn't alone though, Holland had great technicians even in defence, starring the likes of Rude Kroll and Vim Serbia. They had Willem van Hannigam and Johan Nieskins providing the engine room in midfield, and wizards like Pierre Kaiser and Rob Rosenbrink on the wings. The Dutch cruised into the final with emphatic victories against the likes of Argentina, East Germany and Brazil, but fell in the final to the hosts and their great rivals West Germany. Hungary, 1954. Never has there been a more obvious candidate to win a World Cup than Hungary in 1954. Hungary's golden team was simply on a different level to every other nation, playing football that seemed to be from another planet. The way their players interchanged positions, the transitions between attack and defence, and the remarkable technical ability of their players made them seemingly unbeatable. In fact, going into the 1954 World Cup final, the Magical Magyars had gone more than 4 years and 33 games without tasting defeat. Their squad boasted all-time legends of the game like Joseph Bozic, Sandor Coxis, Nandor Haidguti, Zoltan Skibor, and of course Ferenc Puskas. They marched to the final with consummate ease, beating South Korea 9-0, West Germany 8-3, and both Brazil and Uruguay 4-2. In the final though, a mixture of torrential rain, dodgy refereeing decisions, and divine intervention conspired, and West Germany beat Hungary 3-2 in what became known as the Miracle of Bern. Hungary's golden team did win an Olympic gold and a Central European Championship, but neither exclude them from this seven, meaning they have to come out as comfortable winners. So that's it for our seven. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe to HITC7s, and check out the link to our new Facebook page in the video description below.